smile But my new chin put on a great big grin And let happiness become your style Everywhere you go, let your pearly show If you gotta wear a frown, turn it upside down Come on and shake a hand and handshake smile Nice music from our guest, Randall Franks. That was filmed, you tell me, in the same place you do the show, right? Covington, Georgia. Yeah, we had a lot of the Covington folks uh, visit with us when we did that down there. Now, how close is Covington to your hometown? Uh, it's about 50 miles from Shambly, where I live. Yeah. Now, you know a lot of people in, in Covington? I do now. I've spent the last five years down there, so it's... Um, it's been a lot of fun, yeah. a lot of nice people. The, the character you play on In the Heat of the Night, we didn't mention. Officer it, Randy Good. Now, did the name Randy come because that's your name or did, did yeah. coincidence? Yeah, early on, uh, Carol O'Connor uh, has been very much involved in the development of my char character. He developed it and he liked Randy, so he decided that was what I would be called. So it makes it easy. When somebody Thank says you. Randy or Randall, you I, come running. I come running, that's it. And you mentioned, and, and I don't know if you like to talk about your haircut or not, but you've changed your haircut a little bit. Yeah. That's yeah. for the show. Yeah, we're, we're trying to get a little more police look, a little more like a police officer, so go back to the crew cut type. A little shorter around the ears. Yeah. Let's talk about this fiddle for a second. Now, now, and, and from what I understand about you, you studied classical violin yeah. for a number of years. I had a classical violin instructor, uh, Dr. Donald Greiser, came in my third grade, third grade elementary school room and uh, played Orange Blossom Special. Mm -hmm. That hooked me. <laughs> that did it. That did it. So, I wanted to play so much. The fiddle is really just a violin played a little differently. Yes, yeah. The, There's no different stringing or anything. No like. different stringing. Everything's the same. The only difference I've ever been able to delineate is that uh, classical violin is like uh, a higher arced bridge, mm -hmm. where fiddlers tend to like a flatter bridge. Okay. You know, so. Hit us a lick there on All the fiddle. Right, we'll do a little bit. Not on the violin, but on the fiddle. On the fiddle. This is an, a little bit of an old time number. Clayton McMitchin, another George fiddle player, did with Bill Monroe. Uh, back up and push, I'll do it. I wish I could do that. <laughs> That's wonderful. Want to take Thanks. some calls here? Yeah. Quartz Hill, California. Nanette, you're on the air with Randall Franks. Hello, Dan and Hi. Randall. Uh, first of all, I'd like to compliment you on your acting. I think it's wonderful. I'm an actress myself. And also, um, I'd like to know, are you doing any movies? And if so, what and where and when? <laughs> well, um, always as an actor, you're trying to do uh, audition for new shows and new movies. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm... If everything goes well, I'll be working with uh, my co-star uh, co from In the Heat of the Night, Alan Autry, on a film coming up later this fall, um, which uh, will be about a Mississippian. And hopefully we'll be able to tell you more about that when we get it in production. You know, you don't have much of a southern accent. Have you lost it, or have you just never had one? Well, I've had one. I just try to... Uh, Try to use it as less as neutralize. little as neutralize it. Yeah. yeah, for acting, I think that's that's a smart thing to do. West Jefferson, North Carolina, Dean, you're on the air with Randall. Hello, Dan. Hello. Yeah, I like your show. Thank you. I'd like, like to ask Randall, uh, Alan, there, uh, Bubba on the show. How do you get along with him, and how is he behind the scenes? Bubba is like uh, one of the finest people you ever want to meet. He's just like everybody in your hometown. He's he's a nice man. Well, there were some people in my hometown you don't want it to be like. <laughs> Marion, Virginia. Hello, Bill. You're on the hello, air Hello, Dan. How are you? Doing fine. Randall. Yes. I want to tell you first that my family and I are big fans of Heat of the Night and of you. Thank you. And I wanted to ask you, um, are there a lot of opportunities for actors and writers in the South today? I think it's growing greatly uh, in the South. Uh, for instance, in Atlanta, last year was the largest year in filmmaking and television since 1981. So there are going to be a lot more acting opportunities and writing opportunities in the South. Well, that's good to know. Lacey Washington. Hello, Steve. You're on the air with Randall Franks. Well, hi, Dan. Hi, Randy. Hi. Uh, are you... Um, wrong question. What did you do before Heat of the Night? 
Well, I, I started performing in the music uh, in the music end when I was 12 years old and began touring. Um, I've been doing music all those years, except for a short stint during high school, flipping hamburgers at the local Dairy Queen. <laughs> so I, I've been busy in the music uh, field. Could you fix a good hamburger? I can flip a hamburger with the best of them. Could you tell exactly when it was cooked the way you want it? That's right. How'd you I know can that? do that. Just just by the way it bubbles. <laughs> Those bubbling hamburgers. <laughs> yeah, on the grill. Dayton, Tennessee. Hello, Diane. You're on the air with Randall Franks. Yes. I'd like to know if his character is going to grow any on in the heat of the night. Well, so uh, we met him one time when he was in Dayton at the uh, music store down there, the gospel Right, right. I remember being there. I hope uh, this year, of course, it's up to our producers and writers and our friends at CBS how, how much the character grows in Mr. O'Connor. And uh, we've already started this fall's filming, and they're using our character a lot more, so hopefully we'll see more of us. Just keep us in mind, and hopefully they will. Have you ever been to Carol O'Connor's restaurant in Beverly Hills? I went and looked in the window. Did you? Yes. I, when <laughs> I hope I was didn't there. see you. <laughs> I was there earlier this year, and Mr. O'Connor was out of town, and, and I went, I thought, well, I'd like to see it, so I went and peeked in the window just to see what all was in there, yeah. you know. He does commercials out there in California where he sings. He stands by the piano and sings about his restaurant. I hadn't seen those. And, and he's, you know, he's not, he doesn't have a bad voice. Well, I know. I produced, a, we produced an album, and I got to produce him in the studio yeah. not too long ago. we got to take a break. We'll be back with Randall Franks after this. Stay with us. Now, right there, you see a picture of, of Randall Franks' instrumental album. Sacred Sounds of Appalachia. Brand new. And, this, and we'll hear sounds like you're doing on this dulcimer. The fiddle. And on the fiddle. The mandolin. And you're working on a vocal. Yep, we're working on a new vocal album. Been spending the last few months collecting uh, songs, mm -hmm. uh, going through songs and writing my own uh, to put together a new sound encompassing the bluegrass and gospel and old time country background that I have. Yeah, now when, when can we look for that? Hopefully it'll be available around Christmas time. Okay. A vocal album coming up from Randall Franks. Well, good luck on your move over to CBS with In the Heat of the Night. Thanks. And good luck on the albums, and thanks for being here. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Our guest, Randall Franks.